Thank God you're here, Bobby. Lori and me are gonna make out in the janitor's closet. Will you be our lookout? No, I can't. Madam Pascal makes you explain why you're tardy in French, but I can only say my name. Dude. Just hurry up. Why aren't you in class? Emily, please don't bust me. I was just... Out of my way, you two. I need some sawdust to clean up some throw-up from a kid. Oh, don't go in there, sir. I'm developing pictures. They're almost set. Ooh. Whoa! I'm calling it in. I guess that's what the law requires. You do not have permission to record this conversation. Proceed. It's Carl Moss. I have Joseph in my office. I need a parent to come down and pick him up. What happened? What's wrong with my baby boy? I'm coming! Protect him until I get there! Joseph! Keys! Joseph! Principal Moss? What is it? Who's in trouble? You or Bobby? Oh, good. It's Bobby. All right, I'm on my way. Now. Why don't you tell your father what you and Laura were doing in the janitor's closet? We weren't doing anything, and it wasn't even us. I'm not me! There's no way my Joseph did this. He's too young. Smell his hair. It still has new baby smell. Son, you should only agree to be someone's lookout during a time of war. Now tell me why Joseph was in the janitor's closet. He was just, um, selling drugs. <sighs> that was an awful lie, son. Terrible. Can you believe the nerve of Moss saying my innocent Joseph was doing something tawdry with that girl? You know, Dale, maybe it's time you talk to your boy about, uh, relations, you know, that are sexual in nature. Now I remember when I got my birds and bees talk. Well, it was mostly hand gestures. You, you still haven't told me what means, Hank? My boy isn't old enough for that. He's still full of snips and snails and puppy dog tails. He's six feet tall and has a mustache. It's time. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll give him the sex talk. Um, before I do that, I, I have some questions myself. So, just like the daddy penguin protects the egg with his fur, Ah, you know, this is too childish for you. Let's try this. When a daddy tiger really loves a mommy tiger, is this helpful? No. Are we done yet? I miss Lori. All I can think about is her soft voice and her soft arm hairs. Ah, you're too young for all of this. Can't you see this loose girl is forcing herself onto your innocence? You can't say that about her. You don't even know her. And soon you won't either. I forbid you to see Lori ever again. That's so unfair. This is just like that movie Romeo and Juliet when the Jets attack Romeo with their breakdancing to keep him from the girl he loves. You don't love Lori. Love doesn't even exist. It's just a chemical created in the labs of DuPont. It was an accident while they were developing those spatulas that don't melt. You're just crazy. D stop talking. I hate you. Y you hate me? 